This variety of baklava called Burma is made not with phyllo dough like classic baklava, but with kata ifi, shredded wheat dough. Burma, like classic phyllo baklava, contains whole pistachios, never pistachio powder. This Burma chef pours granulated sugar over the pistachio kernels. Next, he sprinkles rose water, although this ingredient is optional. Then, syrup made with sugar, water, cinnamon, and nutmeg, as well as lemon to prevent the sugar from later crystallizing. He mixes by hand to thoroughly coat the kernels. The kata ifi is made of all-purpose flour, milk, and water. The chef lays out a section of dough, then takes a handful of pistachio filling and places it on the dough, forming a line running down the middle. For a Burma loaf this size, the filling is about an inch wide and high. He folds the end closed and rolls the dough at an angle down the length of the Burma, tightly encasing the filling as he goes. At the end, he folds the opposite end closed. It takes a Burma chef months to perfect this technique. He places it on a tray to air dry for 24 hours to ensure the dough maintains its rolled shape. Unlike classic baklava, which is baked, Burma is fried, and the risk of burning the pistachios makes this the most technically challenging type of baklava to make. The chef fries the loaves for three minutes in oil heated to around 350 degrees Fahrenheit, turning them once per minute. He lets the oil drain off for half an hour. Then, he pours warm caramelized sugar over the loaves and lets them soak for 20 minutes. The sugar to water ratio and the boiling time of the caramelized sugar have to be just right. Otherwise, it will become either too hard or too gooey when it cools. After letting the excess drain off, the loaves rest for about three hours. Then, the chef rolls the loaf to flatten out the bumps and slices it into equal pieces. But if there's a protracted battle waging between your sweet tooth and your willpower, you've got plenty of time to work your way through a box of Burma because it stays fresh for two weeks.